against my better judgment, I'm here with the wife today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are back with the wife today because we're going to do a little drinking. And I like to bring her on when we do drinking. We're going to get our drink on. The video that we're doing today was suggested by a friend of mine, Josh. And when he first suggested it, I was like, nah, dog, that's not, that's not gonna fly. It's gonna be a no that's, for me, that's gonna be That's gonna be a firm no, because I'm a little bit of a boomer. I mean, I'm not, I'm not old enough to be a boomer, but like my buddy He's Taylor. He's old. He's not up on the, on the new. I'm not up the on the new, the new trends. So the video today we're doing, we're tasting TikTok cocktails. <laughs> Originally, this was a hard no for me, but then I saw the guys at the Whiskey Vault just, or Whiskey Tribe, actually, they did it on their Whiskey Tribe channel, Rex and Daniel. They just posted a video doing this, and it looked like they had a blast. And being this is probably gonna be the last video on the channel for the year, probably. I've got some stuff going on the second channel before the end of the year, but I thought this would just be a fun, bring the wife on, have some drinks, talk about them, try and TikTok stuff. Try not to be a boomer. I will link Rex and Daniel's video down below because I thought they did a fantastic job. It looked like they had a good time. Some of these are holiday inspired cocktails. Some are just regular old cocktails. The first one, being that we are so close to Christmas, is for sure one of my favorite drinks around Christmas time, an eggnog whiskey drink. Eggnog whiskey? Wh whiskey eggnog? Spiked eggnog. Sp but it's not though, because it's not egg, you'll see. To make this eggnog, you're gonna start out with a half ounce of Demerara sugar syrup. I think I'm saying that right. If you don't have the syrup, you can just mix equal parts water with Demerara sugar and make your own syrup. Then you're gonna add one ounce of rum of your choice. I decided to go with a little Flor de Cana. Then you're gonna add one ounce of rye whiskey of your choice. I went with Sazerac rye. Then you're gonna add one ounce of heavy cream. One egg. You're gonna shake it with no ice first, then add ice, shake again thoroughly, give it a good shake, shake, shake. Then you're gonna strain it into a cup and garnish with a little fresh. The recipe calls for nutmeg, I prefer cinnamon, so I went with a little fresh cinnamon. I have to say, it, it, it looks like legit eggnog. Yeah, it does. I don't know. It smells good. I don't know how you make like real, like real. Egg, like real eggnog, but that smells legit. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. This is gonna be a disaster, this whole video, by the way, with my mustache and these drinks. So just get ready. Do I have a napkin? Okay. That is good. I'm not gonna lie. That's real good. That's one of those drinks that like is bad news because you end up drinking like five of them and it's got heavy cream in it. Is it okay to consume the egg? I don't know. Raw egg like that? I mean, there's a raw egg in it, so I mean, Merry Christmas and happy Salmonella to all of you. You're just drinking raw Cheers, eggs. Merry Cheers. Christmas. Y'all go make this drink. It is, it's really good. It's thick, it's creamy, it's sweet. You can taste a little bit of the bourbon in there or the, oh, yeah. the, the rye whiskey. The Demerara syrup gives it a nice sweetness with the uh, cinnamon and stuff. I mean, I, 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 it's excellent. I'm not mad at this. It's By the way, I will link down below. I'm not including the clips of the TikTok videos that I use to find these, but I will link all of the TikToks down below to give the, I don't know if they're the creators of this recipe or if they were just doing a video on the recipe, but- I But it's give, where we got it. It's where we got it from and I want to give them credit. So they'll all be linked down below. It's real good. I need to stop drinking that. <laughs> I'm going to finish it. <laughs> Mama going to be drunk <laughs> mid afternoon. <laughs> well, before we go, so the next cocktail, take a second to pay them bills. <laughs> Give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Tiege Hanley. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of Tiege Hanley. I've been fighting the good fight to get you guys to take care of your damn skin for probably the better part of two years now. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of you guys think the skincare stuff's not important, but it is. You gotta take care of your money maker, man. So I'm fighting the good fight. <laughs> And the good folks at Teach Hanley are helping us out with that. I recommend you start with the level one, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of dirt and grime, a two times per week exfoliating scrub, get rid of dead skin, an AM 
moisturizer with 20 SPF, protect against those melanomas, a PM moisturizer, and my favorite part of the box is it comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how to use it, what order, all that stuff, because let's be honest, most of us guys do not know how to do this shit. In addition to this taking really good care of your skin, members of Tiege Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize the box, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring the video today, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description, and not only will you get Tiege Hanley for the best possible price, but they also give you a free gift with your first box. So click that link down below and get started for as low as $30 a month. Back to these cocktails. My wife has, uh, it's good. She slugged down the majority of this so far. This could be a good night for your boy. <laughs> I'll pass out be asleep at 7.30. You don't need to be awake. <laughs> Nasty. All right, on to the next cocktail. The next drink is called a Smoky Triton. You're gonna start out by having to smoke your glass. So you're gonna to have to have one of those somewhat pretentious glass smokers. You're gonna add an ounce to an ounce and a half of your choice of bourbon. Again, with this one, I went with Sazerac Rye. I think it makes for a good cocktail whiskey. Then you're gonna add a half ounce of sweet vermouth. Next, you're gonna add a half ounce of Cointreau. You're gonna put in the juice of about a quarter of a lime. After that, you'll add a drizzle of Luxardo cherry juice. You're gonna add ice and stir. Once that's good and cold, you're gonna strain that over some crushed ice. And you're gonna garnish with a Luxardo cherry and a little bit of lemon peel. I mean, it's another pretty drink. It's very pretty. Now, like I said, you have to smoke the glasses. I, I called those things pretentious because I don't, I think I might actually buy one of those things, like a proper one. You guys are probably making fun of me in the, the B-roll there because I went ghetto <laughs> style and just used some Traeger pellets on a plate. <laughs> it does the trick. It does the trick. And I mean, it's, 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 I had it on hand. And honestly, anytime anybody asks me if those things work, I always say, if you want smoky whiskey, just buy Isla Scotch too. But this recipe called for it, so I did it. Maybe I'll do a video on, uh, I'll buy one of those things and actually see if it makes a noticeable difference or if it's any worth a shit. Anyway, it's a very pretty beverage. It's very whiskey forward. Ooh. That's actually really, it's a refreshing drink. Yeah, because of the lemon. Luxardo cherries are, I mean, you can't get mad at that. You don't like it? That's good. It's good. It's just. Yeah, look. It's good. <laughs> it's good. I like it. It's good. It's, it's like strong. In these videos, normally we're drinking like barrel proof whiskey straight. <laughs> Those are and, strong too. And you think this is strong? You pulled the face like somebody the first time you give them a barrel proof whiskey and they're like, damn, that's smooth. Yeah. I think that would be a good spring or summer drink. It's cool because of the lemon. It's very kind of refreshing. Yeah. It's got all the crushed ice in it. I think if you serve that to a guest, they'd be impressed because it has a nice presentation. Yeah, it looks very pretty. It's refreshing. It's good. It's not super hard to make. It'd be great in the summer or spring, I think. Go with that cherry. That cherry's banging. I see you're not sucking this one down quite as fast. I can't lose the ice. Ah, she sucked that damn last one down like a sorority girl at a frat party. I mean, that thing. It was good. I will say, I don't. I could, I could smell the smoke a lot, but I can't. Yeah, I, I doesn't taste particularly I don't, really smoky at all. To yeah, me. I don't know if the smoking thing is legit. You smell that smoke? Yeah, yeah. Well, now it's <laughs> now you're it all up. Maybe if I had one of the proper bougie smokers and I wasn't using Traeger pellets, maybe. Overall, I'd still give that a thumbs up. So far, the TikTok people have come through <laughs> some solid whiskey beverages. We got three more. On to number three. Three. All right, next up is an apple cider whiskey sour. Another seasonal beverage. You're gonna get two ounces of whiskey of your choice. I used Elijah Craig. I think this is a really good bourbon for mixed drinks. It's very good and it's fairly affordable. Then you're gonna add one ounce apple cider. Next, three quarter ounce of lemon juice, which ends up usually being close to a half a lemon. Then you're gonna add half ounce of maple syrup. That's right, maple syrup. For all my Canadians out there, come on with your <laughs> come on. 
Last, you're gonna add one egg white. Just like with the other one, you're gonna shake this with no ice first, then you're gonna add some ice and give it a good shakey shake shake. You're gonna put that in a glass with no ice and dust with cinnamon. And this is another very festive looking drink. It's got like the foam on top from like uh, the egg white and the, the aggressive shaking. You, you really, you really do. Aggressive. You shaking. really have to get aggressive with your shaking with some of these. I feel like. I feel like it kind of looks like, um, like uh, a beer. Uh, well, the beer you drink, that weird wheat beer that's always yeah, like like cloudy. A wheat beer. I don't have a napkin. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> this has got froth. Y'all can witness what I see. Here. This, this has yeah. got very festive looking. Looks good. Cheers. <laughs> it's about to drip down on you. Disaster. <laughs> it's got good texture. It's like thick. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to like it because it was a lot of whiskey. More than the other. Yeah, I mean, I think, there, right? there's, there's a good amount of whiskey in this. I mean, this is another pretty whiskey forward drink. But I think the apple cider kind of. The apple cider and the maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. A? Kind of take A. <laughs> <laughs> All my Canadian friends are like, F you with the A. <laughs> I know the, the froth looks a little, little dirty, right? <laughs> Looks like you could have gotten maybe a little too excited about how good the drink was. <laughs> mm. Bearded this, people just. Have this is why rough. I usually either drink out of like an adult sippy cup or a bottle or a straw because. A bottle. Oh, like a, like a beer bottle. <laughs> Not a freaking Gerber bottle, you freaking goon. You give her like two shots of liquor and she goes loose. If you're having like a uh, Christmas get together yeah, of some great. nature, I think people would really enjoy these. All right, folks, mm. next. <laughs> next up, we have the Kentucky Buck. You know, I had to pick this one because, well, I'm from Kentucky. So in your shaker, you're gonna put two dashes of bitters. I used Woodford Reserve orange bitters, but I think in the recipe he used standard bitters. You're gonna add one strawberry half ounce of simple syrup. Next, you're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice or about a half a lemon. Then you're gonna muddle that together. Muddle, 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 give it a good smash, mash up that strawberry, get it all good and happy. Two ounces of bourbon. Then you are gonna shake it with ice and strain over a large ice cube. Lastly, you are going to top it off with a nice little dose of ginger beer. So the Kentucky Buck. This one and to me- And you used what kind of bourbon in this? In this one, I used Elijah Craig, just like the other ones. Cause like I said, I think Elijah Craig makes a great mixing bourbon. It's not too expensive. It's got great flavor. Look how pretty. This uh, is also a very nice looking drink. Ginger I'm not a huge bit. fan of ginger. Now, strangely enough- I I'll, like it. Strangely enough, I like ginger ale, but I don't like ginger. But ginger ale doesn't really taste like ginger. Let's be honest. Well, no, it's not the same as ginger on your salad. No, it's not the like same. Like a at ginger all. dressing. I think I would rather top this with a little ginger ale. You can taste the whiskey. Yeah, but not very much. But it, right, but it's in the it's in the back seat. Yeah. The whiskey's in the back seat on this one. This one is very strawberry, ginger, lemony. It's good. It's very fruity. <laughs> if you're big into fruity drinks. And it drinks, is kind of, a, the, the color of it, I guess, could get away with holiday, but it is very, it is it is like a refreshing kind of drink yeah. too, because it's kind of the, um, that reminds it's me, kind of fizzy, and I don't know. That, just that reminds me of a summer, spring drink. Yeah. It's good. I personally don't like fruity those kind of drinks. So this isn't my cup of tea. The ladies would probably I think like a lot this. of ladies yeah. would like this drink. Yeah. Hey, I, I know a lot of ladies that drink whiskey neat, so I'm not saying that, but in Fletcher general, would also probably like it. Yeah, my buddy Fletcher <laughs> would also probably really enjoy this. I'll make this for him next time he comes over. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the <laughs> mustache life. I swear, I got shit flying everywhere. <laughs> why, are you, why are you hitting me? And I think the guy that actually I found on TikTok. This is really good. He this actually, might be my favorite one. I think he actually before. called this a spring summer drink. Yeah. And this is my favorite so far. More than the eggnog. It's a different kind of thing. It's a different kind of thing. I like this one more than I like the other like on ice mixed one. I guarantee you this spring. The lemony one. The spring by the pool. She's going to be like, hey, how about you make more than them Kentucky bucks? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'm really impressed with the TikTok folks. I was... TikTok had, hacks are a thing. I had they low hopes. Stuff. I was like, man, these damn TikTok people ain't gonna know nothing about no damn whiskey drinks. They don't know nothing about no whiskey drinks. Damn TikTok people. Damn millennials. Don't know nothing about no whiskey. <laughs> they weren't millennials though. They weren't. They're Actually, the these. dude that made most of these <laughs> is like my age. <laughs> we got, to number five. We got last one. 
and we saved a good one for last. This is a coffee drink. We saved this one for last because we didn't, we're gonna drink all of this. I'm gonna drink this with a cigar. It's gonna be good. All right, last but certainly not least, we have a whiskey coffee drink thingy. I don't know, it doesn't have a name. <laughs> In a glass over a nice large ice cube, you're gonna put 1.5 ounces of screwball peanut butter whiskey, 1.5 ounces of Mr. Black's coffee liqueur, and then you're gonna to top it off with cold frothed cinnamon heavy cream. And you're just gonna give that a little stir, slap on a dash of cinnamon, and you're ready for business. The cold froth heavy cream, if you don't know, I, I, luckily I had one of these because my wife does the cold frothing. It's like a little, <laughs> it's like a little electric whiskey. It's, it's a little frother. It's a frother. It, it's like it's a little a, electric whiskey thing. You get them on Amazon for like $12. For like $12. You just yeah. put some cinnamon and some heavy cream, put that little dude in there. Mm. Yep. Yeah, and you end up with this nice, thick, frothy substance. And I feel like we've had a lot of drinks that have like a foam with cinnamon. Yeah. Maybe it's because it, it looks nice. This one I am pumped about, okay? Because <laughs> I'm thinking this could be really good with a cigar. Really good. Because it's got whiskey, it's got some coffee, it's got a little heavy cream on it to kind of like smooth things out. <laughs> That's a, this is also going to be a mustache nightmare because let me tell you something. That heavy cream froth shit, cold froth heavy... Cold froth, heavy stuff. You're not getting through the foam. You got tilted. No, I'm not. You got tilted back. <laughs> you got that foam is good though, isn't it? Yeah, but, I mean, I can taste it. It's good. <laughs> that is good, isn't yeah. it? Mm. Mm hmm. You have to like slurp it. <laughs> Disaster. You have to like slurp it through the cream. Oh God, I'm gonna take a shower. This is gonna be. <laughs> you just took a shower. I know, but I'm gonna have to take another one because if you get that much heavy cream in your beard and you don't shower, your beard's gonna taste like, smell like you spoiled milk. You have to like milk. control the amount. I actually hate that I like it so much because it's, it's, I mean. It's so good. I mean, it's real good. I mean, it's like creamy coffee with cinnamon with a little whiskey. I mean, I'm gonna like just pour it in my mouth. Hmm? Just a little bit. Mm. That's my favorite. It's really good. It's real good. I mean, it tastes like a dessert. It does. I mean, you can just like, yeah, just chug it off. Because of that, that cinnamon, heavy cream, cold froth shit, whatever that stuff's. I could just eat that. Because when you froth it, it almost turns into just whipped cream. Yeah. So you're basically yeah. putting cinnamon whipped cream. It's on kind top. of like a, like a latte. I definitely think. some of these I think will be fun with the holidays coming up. If you're having any get-togethers, definitely try some of these recipes. Uh, and even in the spring, like we talked about, really, I mean, definitely give them a go. I'm gonna look. Mine's like, almost gone. I'm just saying. Uh, you, she's she's gonna have, she's gonna be rough here in a little while because she's ha she's finished a few of these. Nevertheless, I'm impressed with the cocktails on TikTok. I think it turned out pretty good. I enjoyed making these. I know she it was enjoyed really it fun. because. Uh, she enjoys the cocktails. I don't normally drink cocktails. I normally just drink whiskey straight, neat, stuff like that. So this was kind of fun for me to see it in some different ways. I don't know that I would do this on a regular basis. I still just like my whiskey kind of neat, but it is kind of fun in this thing. It was right fun. Here. I found some new things that I would probably like instead of having to open a bottle of wine only to drink one glass. Exactly. Because that's all I ever drink. So point is, explore <laughs> your cocktails, try some of these. Like I said, this is probably Slinging, slinging cream. Uh, <laughs> like I said, this is probably the last video on the main oh, channel man. for this year. Uh, may Merry get, Christmas, y'all. I, I may get enough, listen to her drunk ass. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> God. <laughs> be safe. Spend some time with your friends and family. That's what this time of year is all about. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. Hope everybody has a, a fantastic, fantastic week. No, you are up. You are <laughs> all up. I hope everybody has a great holiday. Oh, that's not what you usually say. No, but it's the holiday episode. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great holiday. And we'll see you in the next video and next year. Next year. <laughs>
<laughs> Here, bitches. Go! Done and dusted. Dude, I can Pow. tell you've been drinking. I can tell. <laughs> You're like loud. You're like, yeah, everybody happy on me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm seriously about to take a shower. The amount of heavy cream that it's is- gone. It's gone. The amount of heavy cream that was in my beard, if I don't take a shower, my beard's gonna smell like spoiled milk. That's nasty. That's nasty.